Good morning, everybody. Today is June 25th, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is the first full day of our Unitarian Universalist Association's General Assembly, though if you stayed up for the rules debate last night, it may actually feel like several weeks have already passed. Two things on the highlight, uh, two things to highlight on today's schedule. First, the final report of the Commission on Institutional Change, um, which I talked about in yesterday's update on this channel, is this afternoon at 3 p.m. Central Time. If you're a delegate from UCL, please consider attending that uh, report. It's going to inform a lot of what we talk about going forward. Also, today is Thursday, which means in the rhythm of General Assembly that tonight is the service of the living tradition. And I've said a few times uh, in, in the setting of this church that this is, for me, one of the holiest times of the year. It's worth talking again about, about why. The service of the living tradition recognizes religious professionals marking major transitions. When we're granted fellowship from the UUA, uh, practically, after a half decade of study and heartache, fellowship shows up as a single eight and a half by 11 uh, piece of paper on UUA letterhead confirming the decision of the Ministerial Fellowship Committee. It's a big deal and it feels often a little anticlimactic. But it's in the General Assembly immediately following where you come and from the front the worship leader says, we call from among the gathered, and then says your name. And you go and take your place on stage with the other religious leaders in our faith. It's a little bit graduation, a little bit ordination, and very much a celebration. But the service is not only special for that reason. It also marks other moments, credentialing for religious professionals, final fellowship, full fellowship now for ministers, retirements, and critically, deaths, those we've lost in the last year. We light a candle as part of the service and read the roll call of religious professionals who have died since the last summer, the last service. And somewhere for many of us around the third one of these services as a minister, it hits you. This is not just a graduation service. This is a place where, explicitly, I will be remembered. And in the year that I'm gone, my story will be joined explicitly to the next generation of ministers, just as my story was joined with the story of the ministers who died the year I came into fellowship. You know, we've not always done perfectly. Certainly, you, you ministers have lots of flaws. But when we sing what they dreamed be ours to do, the hope, my hope, is that what's left undone at the end of my life will be picked up and carried forward by the next generation of our faith. And that's a comforting thought every year. Obviously, again, this service is going to look and sound different this year. We're online, so there will be no processing uh, to the stage. For those celebrating fellowship this year, that might feel like a loss. So I imagine that there will be any number of celebratory text threads going on during the service to try and capture some of that energy. It's also a service that's open to the public. And that's not always been the case. It, the, the service of the living tradition actually started as a minister's association event um, by and for clergy and has evolved into a broader understanding of what it means to be a religious professional. So tonight, rather than hold our usual Vespers service at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'd like to invite you to participate in the service of the living tradition. Now, time zone issues being what they are, that service starts at 5 o'clock central time. But if that time is too early for you, you will be able to stream it later. I hope to see some of you in the chat box there. Be well, and have a beautiful day.